morning. Good morning. Good morning. You, you gotta stop that fight. Good morning. This ain't all of them. <laughs> this is not all of them. Let's feed them here. Y'all ready to eat? Everybody ready to eat? All right. You gotta get up, you lazy devil. You gotta get up and talk to Papa. He's laying there trying to make his hee haw. <laughs> Morning, Abby. What's Abby? What is Abby? He's a donkey. <laughs> Don't say it loud, okay? Because he's looking at us. Hello, goats. Be out there to feed y'all in a minute. But guys, today, I'm having to feed up in my, in my bike. It's coming in handy. It's working out great. Uh, it's been on a good little bike. I've rode this thing a lot. G's rode it. Uh, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just telling you, it's been a good one. I've got a another one coming. It's got the big fat wheels on it, and Bree said that's the one you need to drive the most because you can go everywhere with one of the big fat wheels. And uh, when it gets here, we're gonna put it together and make a video of it. She says she can ride hers all day long. It's, it's really goes anywhere you want to go, out in pastures and everywhere without ever having a problem. Woody says, where am I going to ride at, Papa? But what about me, Papa? <laughs> well, boys, we're going to get our mule going again. But until then, I'll go slow. And you guys have to just ride and run along beside me, okay? But I'll go slow. I'm not going to be like G and run over you, okay? No. Papa won't run over y'all, but y'all got to just run along beside me. Okay, I'm running, filling up our water for them, and I'll bring them some hay here in a few minutes. And uh, I gotta go feed Ivan and the chickens. I'll be back in a minute, okay? I told Bree this morning, I says, uh, he's not bashful no more. He was romancing yesterday afternoon. <laughs> she said, I don't want to hear it, Papa. I don't want to hear it. Said, well, I'm just telling you, you made fun of him. But he was, you know, he was just trying to be, you know, polite. He didn't want to just, you know, just rush at her. He wanted to, you know, have a little couth, you know, a little culture. I try to teach my babies culture. Right, Buster? We do culture here. Yeah, we do culture. Ask Ivy. <laughs> Someone told me that Bree said we got a good war uh, rain. I don't know where she was at, but she saw it. <laughs> I don't know where this guy roosted. Now, I come out last night looking for him, guys. I shined these trees. I shined all the fences, top of the buildings. He evidently is not roosting around here somewhere. It must be out the front, maybe with the guineas. I don't know. Uh, but he's here every morning, but he's not roosting out here. If I can get him find where he's at, I could catch him. I'll put him in there with these guys. He wants to be in there, but open the gate, then they try to run out. He's a pretty guy. Very pretty. If he was in there, she'd have two boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. All right, I go back and check out water. I left it running. I come to feed Ivan and I'm going to head back. I love you, buddy boy. But you know what? I'm going to leave you in today, okay? All y'all staying in today because G and I are going on a little trip this afternoon. And I don't know if I get back in time to put y'all back in before dark, okay? Okay? All right. Yeah, we're gonna go for a trip. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys about it in just a minute. We're we're excited. So Ivan, you're gonna be in charge in the pen, in the pasture, in this pasture, not in the big pasture, okay? You got fresh water, you got plenty of grass, and you're eating right now, okay?
What's wrong, baby girl? Go to bed. Don't go so high. Don't go so high, Cody. You scare her. Slow down, Cody Bear. All right, you guys got your hay. Y'all meet your feed. You got full tank of water. Y'all good. Cody, slow down, baby. She's out here. Birdie's out here trying to learn how to ride a tractor. <laughs> she called it Birdie. Birdie is determined to become a little farm girl. <laughs> she don't want to leave them boys. She <laughs> got her in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's trying to get in the Jeep. Buster, leave her alone, son. Oh, now you got to get him a drink. Buster's so fun. He's a lot of fun. Woody, don't hurt him, son. Don't hurt him. Woody's in charge out here. He's, I'm in charge, Papa. Yes, you are, son. Until we go out with Ivan, then he's in charge. They've done good. I've been riding, put the hay and the feed all in this basket, and they just follow along behind me. But you know, it's 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 early. It's not hot yet. I wouldn't take them back in the back pasture, make them run. No, I wouldn't do that because that'd be a long run in the heat. It's all shade here, so they're having fun. Her now. Well, he whenever I walked out here. What? I'm watching him. I'll tell you right now, I miss that mule. <laughs> the little old bike worked good as far as feeding up. Uh, but my boys can't ride, you know? There's just no room. But they are just run along beside me. Yeah, I don't drive fast, so I ain't no chance running over them. It's got brakes, you know. I, you know, but they don't get from me running over side me, all three of them. But uh, I got a new battery ordered. I don't know if it'll be here today or not. I'm hoping that's the only the problem. I put it on a charge. It did not want to take a charge. I'm hoping this is what it is. If it's not that, it's the battery. I mean, the starter and that is a job. I've changed them before, but. My hands are kind of big and it's down in the space. It's hard to get the little boats and stuff out. Uh, but they say those shops are so backlogged, you take one to a shop and it may be there for, Dan took his to shop and it was like two weeks getting it back and I, I can't go two weeks without my, my mule. I guess a half Bree come by every day with a golf cart so all my little boys could ride and she could uh, kind of deliver us around where we need to go. <laughs> I can see she'll enjoy that. All uh, right, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, and uh, not going to get a lot done today because we got a trip coming. I was missing a minute ago. G and I have been invited up to. Uh, J and L this afternoon, Lester said he could be there if we want to come up. We've been wanting to go up, but we've had babies every day. And he said, well, he'll be there this afternoon if we want to come up. We said, we'll be there because as soon as dust picks up Coda Bear, about 4.30, we can be dressed, jump in the car, we're gone. And be able to spend a couple hours probably looking at the place. So, I know it's beautiful. I've seen videos of it several times. I know it's beautiful. I've been by there. But there was nobody there when I went by. So I can't wait. So I'm not going to get a lot done. Ben, I don't think he's going to show up at all today. And, and he wasn't supposed to. He said he's going to work for Logan today. But I don't know. He may be over there. I don't know. But uh, we got a lot, a lot done. Uh, I keep putting off. The wiring and the insulation, I've had time to go get the insulation. I haven't had time to do the wiring. 
uh, because other projects come up during the day. You know, other things you have to do. Uh, Jen and I worked upstairs this morning. You know, that's just a chore going up those stairs, but we did. Uh, there's some things she wanted to rearrange. We brought a bed down yesterday. Ben and uh, Bree brought a bed down. We had three beds up there. Only need two. Lex don't sleep up there no more. Uh, he sleeps in the girls' room, uh, the playroom. And so we brought a real bed down, put it there, and took the futon up because Brindley and Elora and Bay are the only ones that ever go up there to watch TV. And they, you know, the, the futons right there with the TV. So instead of them sitting on the bed watching TV, they can sit on the futon, you know, lean back and everything else. So we got that done yesterday and Ben painted, then he come in and helped move first and then he come back and finished painting yesterday. He worked hard, I'm real proud of Ben. And I love sitting and having discussions with him about history, because he knows history. When it gets cool, when it gets cool, it's too hot now, I'm going to get Ben to go with me one day, and we're going to make the rounds to the cemeteries where our local ancestors are all buried. Uh, White Oak Cemetery and Porter. Plum Grove Cemetery, the Family Cemetery, the East Sandy Cemetery, and uh, uh, names there were skippy like yeah, New Waverly. <laughs> uh, and that that cemetery up there is pretty fascinating, y'all. It's just it's got a bunch of Confederate tombstones in there. Must have been a lot of boys from that area joined the Confederate Army. But uh, it'll be it'll be a fun time me and Ben and Ben can do some history when we're on the on the road. And naturally we'll stop and eat somewhere. Uh right, we'll talk to you guys a little bit. Okay, I was putting some of my signs up. I think I am just gonna go on the door. And over here or now you'll learn how to make biscuits. I put it there so He'll sit every day when he drives in. I'm tired of him denying it, and he knows it's true. But it's out there on the edge, so he can sit. He drives up this driveway right here. He can't help but look over here and see that sign. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love this one. And I got some more signs we'll probably put along this wall. And that's what I'm doing out here today, is kind of tinkering. You ever tinker? I'm bad about tinkering. Yeah. G calls it something else. I've heard her say, Why well, you want to fiddle fart around? Well, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like to tinker, G. Anyway, I've been sitting here, got the fan blowing on me, ceiling fan going, relaxing. And I'm just going to tinker with a few little jobs like this right here because I don't want to get no big project going today. And I don't, I don't want to run my air conditioner until I get that ceiling sealed up because it'd be just kind of a waste of AC. So we'll just tinker around out here a little bit. Yep, Popo's Biscuits, where Daniel learned to make them. Oh, yeah, he talks a big story. Oh, I know all about biscuits. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, truth be known, he come over here and asked me how to make them the first time, and I had to tell him, and then I had to give him some hints so he could perfect them. <laughs> yeah. And Kim wants to make fun, so your sister knows how to make biscuits. Well, she learned them from me, too. I was with my dad longer than any of them. That's where it all come from. I come out and I caught her stealing. Look at there. There goes my tools. And I also got a stack of lumber. It, it's only two. But two. I, I paid high dollar for that lumber. Look, it's just scrap. And I know if I don't use it, it's gonna get just stacked somewhere. I'm trying to do us a favor. 
favor. <laughs> okay. Being resourceful. Yeah, I love that. She came over to borrow my tools again. She says, you have some scrap? And I said, oh, we propped up set at door. So she went and got her a couple pieces out that she needed. I love to see them use stuff like that's good. That brand new lumber is cutoffs. You know, it's cutoffs. And I stacked it up there because it can be used. And I'm glad she's using it. I'm not going to throw it away. It'll go like she said. It'll go in a stack. <laughs> oh, Lord. I went in and I got some of my signs out. Here, I'll show you. I can't put them up now because she took my drill. I'm going to put this one on the wall out here. There you go. This one here. All these were gifted me. I love this one. I'm going to put it on the wall out here so anybody drives up to see it. <laughs> put that. That one may, may go on the inside, and this one may go on the inside. On my wall in there. But I was going to fix to put them up. She says, I need to borrow your drill, Papa. Uh, girls. <laughs> now what? Your batteries are dead, too. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Furnish everything and do the work, too? Well, that would sure be nice sometimes. Uh, there's a charger in here. Go put one on a charger on that table. you see it. Give her a battery, give her the tools. And she comes back complaining. Who used the tools last? She did. Or the charger. She should have put on charger last night. You know what you're talking this about me? Did you get that battery off the charger? This is the battery off the charger. You got a second charger? Or you just got the one? Just that one. Okay, the other dead batteries in there right beside did you not put one of them on it? I put one of them on it, but they're both dead. Okay. So that one's going now, to charge. Now, if you go look at my back porch, there's that light with one of those batteries. You, you can take that battery on my back porch on the shelf. This one be fine. Fine. Go ahead. Wear it out. I'll run it dry by the time the other one's done charging. I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> Don't hurt her, Buster. Don't hurt him. And Woody got beat up this morning, guys. I think uh, he went across over where he didn't belong. I'm out here working, and he come limping across, back across that yard. His little shoulder hurts. He's okay. No broke bones or nothing. His little shoulder hurts. I think something probably grabbed him. And I saw Buster come running. Buster was flash. They can't catch Buster. But go off over there and mother big dogs over there, Woody. Somebody else's house and you barking at them something. What do you expect? I think Woody may have learned a lesson this morning. I'm hoping. He sure don't like it. that leg hurts. I saw Buster come. Buster's fast. Ain't nobody gonna catch Buster unless they ambush him. <laughs> That's the teacup in him. Yeah. You got the teacup in you, Buster? Woody's slower. Woody don't get go that fast. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make me some, some kind of lunch. Uh, it's almost two o'clock. I'm not gonna be able to do much out here. Bree took my tools. Gotta share them. <laughs> but no, I... I've got a couple of signs I'm gonna put up on the wall tomorrow whenever, because we're gonna to go to Lester's this afternoon. I've been looking forward to that, and he called and said he'd be there this evening. We want to come up. He said, we'll be there, up to J&L. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off. I'm hoping I can video some stuff up there with him, get it out to you. I've got a few more signs I wanna put on this wall here, and some of the others I put on the inside. 
Uh, but she's got my drill, my screw gun, and that's fine. It's a little bit cooler today because we've got a few clouds around, but not still hot. It's still 92, 92 here in the shade, but a little bit of a breeze. And that makes a lot world of difference. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you hit the like button, share with someone, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Okay, and I'm gonna go in. I love you guys.